The moment the rain hits the ground, it begins a journey through your neighborhood. Along the way, this storm water encounters a lot of harmful stuff, including excess fertilizer, yard clippings, motor oil, even pet waste. Water then carries these pollutants into the storm drain and directly into the nearest river, lake, or stream, polluting our waterways. Visit cleanwatercampaign.com for more. Help be a solution to water pollution. Boynton Cleaners, located at 5526 Boynton Drive at the corner of Dietz Road and Boynton Drive, has been offering the finest in dry cleaning, laundry, and fabric care to North Georgians since 1998. Our commitment to you is to offer only the highest quality cleaning to your garments. The professional cleaning process removes stains, restores body to the fabric, and makes all the fibers more resilient and springy. Stop in and have your apparel dry cleaned safely, thoroughly, and professionally by Boynton Cleaners. Phone number 706-866-3178. Transform your life in an instant. One scratch could win you top prizes from $1 million to $5 million. Play Super Millions, the new instant game from the Georgia Lottery. Clayton Homes of Bringold, providing affordable, dependable housing for you and your family. Why go anywhere else? Clayton Home offers a wide variety of terrific floor plans and options to meet your every need. At Clayton Homes, your land is your credit. Low down payments, fixed mortgage rates, no origination fees, land home financing, zero down payment for landowners, smart mortgage to save you thousands, silver key with half down payment, government funds available for first time home buyers. You need a little help to get started? Come by and see our professional friendly staff at 4303 Battlefield Parkway in Ringgold. Clayton Homes of Ringgold, opening the door to home ownership. We're on the air 24-7 a North Georgia taste of heaven, a fun place to be. And we're your family, you see TV. Hey everybody, welcome to the Computer Guys. I'm David. I'm Steve. And we're here to answer all of your computer questions, hopefully. Uh, if you have computer questions, we've got the numbers to the studio there at the uh, bottom of the screen. And so feel free to call in and we'll do our best to answer those questions live here on the show. And one of the things we're going to cover tonight is actually show some of the older folks that are not used to their computer very much how to go in there and use Windows Explorer and create new folders and look and see how they can organize their files and folders and then we'll probably a, connect an external hard drive and show you how you really could use such a thing to save all those files and if you do have a Windows crash or a virus and have to pay somebody to reload Windows you don't have to pay them to, rest to save all your files. You'll have and them you saved. you wouldn't believe, Steve, how many people I see that have bought an external hard drive and think just by plugging it in, their stuff is automatically backed up, and it's not the case. It doesn't work <laughs> like that. In fact, the ones that even come with the software, like the Seagate backup drives, they're not even recommended because here's why. They come with some automatic software that does backup documents and whatever, but guess what? It compresses those files. So they're not even viewable in the normal way you would see your pictures or your and if documents. If something goes wrong with that backup, if then, you lose uh, your CD and you had to re and, and had your, in other words, your backup is useless. If you lost that CD, couldn't reinstall it. Another example is you've got all your vacation pictures backed up on this external hard drive with their backup utility. You take that drive on your Florida vacation to see your old friends you haven't seen in five years and look at all of our wonderful pictures. Uh, they're not there because unless that guy has the same exact software yeah. that was used to back it up you can't view them so that's not the way to do it the thing to do is learn to use internet I mean not internet Windows Explorer 
and yeah. create files and folders and back your stuff up yourself. And we're going to learn to do that shortly, but let's uh, remind you guys about our website, who we are and what we do and everything. Uh, we've got a website set up for this show, the Computer Guys show, uh, affordablecomp.com <coughs> slash computer guys, like you see there on the screen. And each week we uh, post the, uh, the previous week's, uh, or each week we post a video of the, the entire show so you can go back and rewatch it, as well as some highlights of what we talked about. So if you miss a show, you can go back. There's all kinds of information there. And we are from affordable computers. It's not you're not going to find us in yellow pages as the computer guys. It's affordable computers, and our website is shown on the screen right there. It's not affordablecomputers.com. It's affordablecomp.com. And you can find out about our locations and store hours, directions, uh, our famous download section, which I was checking the other day. That page is still like at 96 percent of the traffic on our website is our downloads page <laughs> so yep. you know a lot, of, a lot of the free programs we talk about here on the show are on our downloads page um and we've got three stores in the area now uh this is the fort oglethorpe store you see on our screen right now that's where i work uh 706-858-5888 is the number there uh, we are on battlefield parkway across from logan's and o'charlie's at 706-858-5888. That was next to the Bales Discount, which used to be the Goody Store. Right. And that's the 58 store. You see the phone number, 499-1975. It's one mile north of 153. If you get off 153 at exit 5A, that's from either direction, from Brainerd or from the Hickson direction, exit 5A, one mile on the right, just past the Arby's. And the Hickson store is 5215 Hickson Pike. Phone number's right there, and we have the same days of operation and hours at all three stores. Yeah. And that one is four-tenths of a mile, four traffic lights above Northgate, north on Hickson Pike. So just at the fourth light, you go through the light, you'll see the Abba's House Church on the right, which is one of the biggest churches in Chattanooga. You can't miss it. We're directly across the street on the left next to the famous Buddy Shoe Repair. And the next day that it's not super busy and it's a nice weather out, I'm going out there and taking a new photo. <laughs> and while it shows days and hours and so on, we're not open on Sunday. Uh, people that are watching, we're going to offer two special offers tonight. We're going to offer it in two different segments here so we can see how many viewers would love to get $35 off. It's good for 90 days. You don't have to run in next week. $35 off any service or any PC or any laptop. And we're going to start in a few minutes and say go now. Any of the viewers watching from a Tennessee channel, we're going to ask you to start calling. Hold off for two or three minutes and start calling the first 10 callers. We're going to get your name and telephone number. And we're going to write it down, put you on the computer with a $35 credit memo. And it's good any time the next 90 days. And then we're going to wait about five minutes after that and do the same thing for people calling from a Georgia station. So don't start yet. We'll let you know in just a little while uh, about that. And don't forget to find out about new viruses and things that are happening at Affordable Computers and specials that we're running uh, go to facebook.com slash affordable comp and click on the like button and that will automatically subscribe you to our you're not going to get emails or anything like that it's just going to show up on your Facebook wall and of course you can watch us online at that address there and as far as if somebody does choose to take $35 off any service charge remember we have the best rates in Chattanooga now we're typically 50 to even sometimes more than $100 less then you would spend for the same service at the Geek Squad. We do faster service with more experienced technicians and for much, much less than you'll ever spend at the Geek Squad. I mean, their rates are outrageous, but, you know, they've run commercials for so many years. You may be watching. You may have gone over there. I can tell you we can beat their rates by a huge amount, and 50 to $100 buys a lot of groceries. Well, it doesn't buy as much as it used to, but, hey, <laughs> It'll pay some on your light bill, whatever. If you can save 50 to to $100 and go to somebody that, do you know today, I looked it up, the Geek Squad was introduced in the Best Buys in 2000, I forgot, 2004. Well, I've been in business since 1987. 
So, you know, they can spend the rest of their lives. They won't find anywhere near the experience of the, of the guys that we have. So, you know, they haven't even been around long. They've just got a big advertising budget. Uh, they wish they could do the service the way we do it. And if anybody ever just recently picked up a service job where they had to reload windows from the Geek Squad, if you watched last week, go in there and look and see how many service packs you got installed when they reloaded because they don't even take the time to do it. We do our service right for a lot less money and faster turnaround. Well, plus, you know, the free estimates, we, you know, 99% of the time we can tell you, we can look at the computer up front and we can say this is what's wrong with the computer and this is what it's going to cost to fix it. And, you know, you can know that in just a few minutes. And there's no obligation. If you want to take it back and wait till payday, you know, you can do that. We're not going to That's when they were established, but that's not when right, they were Right, yeah, I was buys. looking to see when Best Buy. I, so I found it today. Day. It was 2006 or seven, I believe it was. But you know, that, there's a lot of places that you know you're gonna just you're gonna they're gonna charge you just to find out what's wrong with the computer, and most of the time uh, we can we can tell you what's wrong with it without charging you a penny. So. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Do you want to get into this file backup thing, or you want to do that first? I think we should. I think we should get into how to use that okay. and how to open up to know what Internet. I mean, Windows Explorer really means. Right. Well, I mean, you know, we see it time and time again. People spend lots and lots of money to have their data backed up or recovered off their computer before they have it serviced or their hard drive goes bad and they lose everything. So it's very, very important to have all of your stuff in at least two places at once. And I don't mean two places on your, com on your computer. I mean two different physical drives, either on your computer and an external hard drive or on your computer and one of these online services, whatever, at least two places. Um, and uh, we're going to show you a little bit about that. Uh, you know, something we talked about a little bit last week was uh, external hard drives. You know, of course, there's flash drives, but they don't hold a whole lot. Week before um, last. Week before last. Two weeks ago. Has been two weeks ago. So, mm -hmm. this is an external hard drive, and this is the one we primarily, or this is the general size of one we primarily carry carry at our stores, just because they're a lot smaller, a lot handier than the big size drives. And you know you can still get this size, and uh, you know this is a terabyte drive up right here, which is a thousand gigabytes. You know we stock like three twenty and five hundred gigs, so plenty of space for the average user. But you can see that's very small. And uh, first of all, if we can switch over to the computer here, when we uh, plug it in, uh, basically you know it's the computer is going to detect it on its own, and it's going to show up in my computer. So if you go to the my computer icon. It's going to show up in just a second here, and it's going to take the next drive letter. So we've got our C drive. This computer has a recovery partition, which is a D drive, and it just popped up in my computer as an H drive. Uh, C, D, and E is the Blu-ray drive. H is the external hard drive. And just like our regular hard drive, remember we talked last week about seeing how much space you have. You can go in properties and see a little pie chart. You can do that with your external drive, too, just to get an idea of how much you're using. So. My drive is not quite halfway full. And the the little pop up he just closed simply said, "How do you do? You want to open this right. drive to view the files? You can do that, or you can just close down that little pop up and do just what David's showing you." So you know, and the biggest thing here is organization. You know, it's 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 you're not going to do any good to back up stuff if you don't know what you've already backed up or where it is or anything like that. And what I thought we'd use tonight as an example is pictures. Now. Right here in the root of my drive, I've got lots of different stuff, but you can see that I've very clearly got a folder called My Pictures. So we open this up, and this is how I sort mine out. I put the years first, and so see I simply created new folders, and we'll go over that in a second, creating folders. And so then within each folder, I've got folders listed out, and I do the, the date, you know, 01, 03, 11, and then the top and that keeps them in order so you it's easy to go through that list and look and see what you've already backed up and, and what you have. David there are hundreds and hundreds in each folder <laughs> yeah this isn't even I haven't you know shame on me I've got to back a few more up but I think there's I've got let's see in my pictures folder here yeah, 60 gigs 60 um, gigs now some of those are videos but still but that's more pictures than most, most people, people. Do. but most people don't have a new baby that's what 15 months 14 months, months, yeah. months Well, coming up on 15 months now. But All that's right. thousands of tens of so, thousands of pictures. So, yeah, you ought to see how many we took last year alone. Okay, 
So let's 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 start here and, and talk about how to get them from point A to point B. Um, now, on your computer, we'll minimize this for a second. On your computer, if you're running Vista uh, or Seven, you've got your user directory, which uh, will either show up as an icon here or you have the separate documents, pictures, music folders here. If you're on XP, you've got a My Documents folder that has those same things in it. Um, so by default, most of your programs are going to store information in documents and pictures. So I'm going to open up the pictures folder here, and you can see I've got a lot of the same stuff. But let's just start from scratch here. Let's go onto this external hard drive. Oops. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. There's several different ways to do this. You can either just uh, right click anywhere where there's not anything listed already and go to new and go to folder. Now don't click anywhere yet. Once you've done that you're in this editing mode where you can edit the name of the folder. Uh, so if we were gonna have pictures of today's show, let's say we we're taking pictures in the studio here, today's date is 07. The reason I do a 0 before the 7 is that keeps it all in, in order because if you have if you just do 7 and then you have a folder that's 11 something, it's going to get it all out of order. So you always put the zero in if you're trying to keep it in order like well, I like If you put in July, you know the months are in a certain order, but they're not alphabetical. Right. So, so that's why I did it this way. 07, 07, 11 is today's date. I did a dash. And we're going to put the computer <laughs> guys. Okay. So this is on the, the E drive. The external drive. And before you go any further, if you did click too soon and the folder just says new folder, mm -hmm. you can go right to the one instead of right now it says a computer, guys. Right -click. You could right click on it and where it says new folder, simply say rename and it's blue again. That's where you edit it and change the name. I see new folder all the time on people's systems where they've started to create one and got a little bit too fast with the keyboard. So, Let's close this out and review here. Where is that folder? Yeah, that's the question. And we put it on our external hard drive. Which, which drive is our external? On this system it showed up as H. And if we scroll here we can see it put it up near the top because of the, of the date thing I did. And, uh, and there's that empty folder. Now as far as getting things into this folder there's two different ways that primarily that we can do this. And uh, one is to Make, uh, make this window small enough to where you can see what's going on. And uh, here's these virus videos we talked about a few weeks ago. You can simply drag and drop this into the, into the new folder. And of course, if you had a camera, you plug your USB in and you copy your files from the camera into the folder. And then it's going to sit here and tell you how much time it's going to take and everything else. Now, another way that you can do it, um, and we'll just close this out and we'll let that finish copying, is let's go to our pictures. Let's say we're going to back up some pictures. So we find the folder that we want to back up and you can right click on that folder and hit copy. And then you could go back to your external drive. And there's that folder and then you could right click out in this uh, blank area and hit paste. Now, what would you do if you wanted to copy them all? Everything in that, as long as you know you're not working with a flash drive, you're working with a large hard drive. Right. So, so if you wanted to copy all of those. Right, there's different ways. Uh, the, the easiest thing is gonna be just go up here. On XP, I think it's under edit. On Vista and 7, it's under organize. Organize, select all. And all your copy and paste functions are under there as well. But you can so also them. click on any of them out there, anywhere in the space, on the first, very first one, mm -hmm. and hit Control A, mm -hmm. which means copy all. Or if you wanted to copy, and I was going over this with my mom a few weeks ago, if you want to copy just individual folders instead of, but, but you want to copy a lot of them at the same time, but they weren't all in order, you could do uh, press, hold, press and hold the Control key and click on each one you want to do. You see they're highlighting they're as he's, highlighting. he's holding down the control key, mm -hmm. CTRL. Or let's say you want to do the first five. You can click on the one you want to do and hold down the shift key 
And every time you go down, it's going to highlight whichever ones are in that uh, in that selection. So there's different ways that you can do and that. And then once you highlight those, you simply anywhere out there where something is highlighted, doesn't matter which one you choose, click your right mouse button and say copy. Or go up to your organize command and hit copy as well. Yes. Also, you can highlight something and you can go control and then press the C key and that will copy it. And then you can go over to this folder where you're doing it and do control V, that's the command for paste and that will paste it over. And if you saw that you had pictures in a folder that you would mislabeled or didn't really want there, you had some Christmas pictures that somehow got in a vacation folder, you could spot those pictures and click on each one one at a time or do what David she's said. Pretty. I know, she's pretty. <laughs> and you could click on several, hold down the control key so that you're highlighting several and if you really know that you're wanting to move those, then once they're highlighted, you can drag them. Well, drag you them. can drag them over, or right click and say cut, and go to the folder you want to put them and say paste. And then they're out of that folder into right. the correct now, yeah, folder. Right. The difference between the cut command and the copy command is copy leaves it where you had it before. Yeah. And and for our purposes of backup, you're, that's probably what you're going to do is the copy command because you're wanting it in more than one location. But, but yeah, I was but saying if, if you, you saw that it, you put some right. in the wrong folder yeah. Yeah. to get them out of that folder into another. If you right. copied everything, you just have duplicates of whatever. And, you I know, think I, right now it is 718. The, next, the first 10 callers who are watching from one of the Tennessee stations who call us we just need your name and phone number. I guess we could even hold our well, phone. Well, you want to do phone number, just do name and name and, and something. Oh, well, man. first and last name as well. Okay, just give us a middle initial. We've got to create a credit memo. That's right. You don't want to give your phone number on the air, but <laughs> Yeah. And you'll get thirty five dollars off this good for ninety days on any service job, any PC, laptop. And before we get off this topic entirely and while we're waiting for the flood of calls that oh, we'll yeah. uh, that are starting to pour in um, you know it's, it's really important that not only that you learn how to navigate around and do this but that you know how much space and you're familiar with how much space you have and you've used so don't forget you know we can go back here and click on um, right click properties that shows us the pie graph but if you want to see how much information you just copied or you're about to copy you can right click on a single folder here's our computer guys folder we made Properties. Now, it's not going to show us a pie graph, <coughs> but it's showing us how much space, 3.41 gigabytes. Yep. Uh, so, you know, remember, there's a there's a 1,000 megabytes or approximately 1,000 megabytes to a gigabyte, and then there's a th approximately 1,000 gigabytes to a terabyte. So if I've got a one terabyte drive here, this is 3.5 gigs approximately, so you can see that's just a drop in the bucket for all those pictures and and such that I just copied. And over. something just popped in my head that happened today, or we checked the fellow in yesterday. Uh, some people are using Norton Backup 360, Norton 360 Backup. Remember that that utility is not to back up stuff to your own hard drive. The fellow came in wondering why his hard drive was mysteriously filling up. <laughs> we went and looked at everything. And he'd been backing up all of his files to his own hard drive. Now, well, we, that's useless. We see that with QuickBooks and Quicken users. You know, they'll select a location for their backup, and they'll just do some, dump it somewhere on their hard drive. If that hard drive fails, it's doing you absolutely well, no remember, good. it's already on your hard drive. Why would you take something on your hard drive and back it up in a different folder? I mean, it's yeah. meaningless. Yeah. It's already there. To be safe with it, you back it to an external device, or you choose enough files to burn to a CD and start creating some backup CDs or something, but not to your own hard drive. I mean... And here's something else worth noting, and we'll try not to get too far off on this tangent. You know, we say at least two places at once. If you're a business or if you are somebody who just really doesn't want to lose their stuff like me, I would be heartbroken if I lost the pictures. It would be good to have it in more than one physical location, which means, you know, if you have your, uh, your external hard drive and sits on your desk next to your computer and your house burns down or somebody breaks or in somebody and breaks it. in and steals it or you know a tornado knocks it over you know i mean it's you know i've you know you know we used to have a guy work for us and he he actually had a external hard drive in a safety deposit box at the bank right. and that sounds crazy but think about it especially for a business person. right 
or you know invest in one of the online backups you know there's there's the mosey yeah. stuff there's you know i use a, a great site that's just for pictures called smug mug I love it to death um you know stuff like that is is you know very important but again don't just rely on just that or just your external hard drive you know I had somebody one time a couple years ago that had backed up all their stuff off their external hard drive and deleted it off their computer. Guess what? Their external hard drive died. Or they could drop it and it's right. going to die. So. And as much of a surprise it is to a lot of people, a hard drive is definitely going to fail someday. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we saw business people come in after the, the bad weather and lightning surges and whatever. And, of course, that happened because of the storms and damage to the system. But, you know... Brand new hard drive is only going to have a three to five year life maximum. And, you know, I know in the past people that bought a system 1985 through about 90, 92, you hardly ever hear of hard drives crashing. But also we didn't buy everything from China either. So <laughs> hard drives do not last very long. So if you're at home, I mean, anything that's important to you, you need to understand it's got to be backed up somewhere. And, you know, going back to the not relying on your external backup as your only backup, here's the other thing people don't realize. All an external hard drive is is the same type of hard drive that's in your computer, just an internal computer hard drive inside a nice pretty box that you can plug in externally. So it has the same rate of failure, the same chance of failure, can fail in the same ways as your internal hard drive. Have you ever heard the old saying, when you snooze, you lose? Yes. Anybody that calls from Tennessee after right now, it don't apply. <laughs> We're going to go to Georgia viewers now. Anybody who would like to have $35 off our already fantastic prices and service charges, if you're watching from UCTV 265 or anything from Georgia, the first 10 callers are going to get $35 off. And we're going to do this for seven minutes. Mm -hmm. And that will... You know, it's funny because I, I was thinking about... Um I looked at the clock a little while ago, and I was like, oh, we've got plenty of time, and I realized we're on a 30-minute schedule, so don't forget, our show is only 30 minutes long now. We used to do an hour back in the day, yep. but uh, don't forget about that. And before we run off and forget, in case you just tuned in, uh, you know, most importantly, we want you guys to know uh, where we're located and how to find us when it's not this 30 minutes. So affordablecomp.com slash computer, guys. You can go there to rewatch the show if you missed the first half or whatever. And that's just part of our main website, which is affordablecomp.com. Not affordablecomputers.com. That's somebody in Michigan, but affordablecomp.com. Maybe one day he'll forget to pay his domain bill, and you can just swipe that domain out. From <coughs> but anyway, go there if you want to find out more about Affordable Computers, which is who puts on and sponsors this show every week, and uh, if you want to uh, you know, find out about our service rates and everything else. There's the store where I work. If you come in there, you'll see me, and you'll see my buddy, Sean. Uh, we run the Fort Oglethorpe store, 706-858-5888. That's on Battlefield Parkway across from Logan's and O'Charlie's. Uh, the address is 2643. That's in there with the Evergreen Restaurant. And there's the 58 store, 4772 Highway 58, one mile north of Highway 153 at exit 5A. And the Hickson store, 5215 Hickson Pike, which is four-tenths of a mile north of Northgate. Going toward Valley Brook, Abbas Church is on the right. We're across the street on the left. You will actually see the big dry cleaners, the Northgate Family Dentistry, and then our building next to Buddy Shoe Repair. Same days of operation and same hours. 10 to 6, Monday through Friday. 10 to 4 on Saturdays. Closed on Sundays. And we do stop checking in service at about 15 minutes till we close each day to allow us time to look at your computer. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash affordable comp. Click on the big like button. Mm -hmm. It's just that easy because you like it so much. And uh, and my ears are burning from all these calls. I know it's crazy. So you know, affordablecomp.com. We're going to support this show as long as you guys watch. And if we f realize in the next two or three weeks that you're really not even watching the show, <laughs> then guess who's not going to sponsor it much longer? <laughs> and uh, let's see here. What else did we have for this week? We're about to run out of time. Um, Something else I wanted to cover real quick. Now I can't remember what it was. 
No, we did that last week. Let's see. Uh, we explained how to move the documents, and look, there's somebody trying to get in on that deal before we close real quick. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> or before we stop the show. Hey, you're in the computer, guys. What can we do for you? Uh, yes, sir. How long is that? How long is what? How long is that going to be? Uh, Go ahead and mute your television. Yeah, how long is it going to be before you have to bring it in? 90 days. 90 days? Yeah. yeah. Okay, put my name down. You're Billy McGraw? That's me. I got your phone number right here, so we'll put a record on the computer, okay? All right. All right, thank you. Hey, yeah. Hey, y'all still there, boy? Well, you know, we're here, and we used to get more phone calls than we could handle when we did the show before, and this season it seems like nobody's watching, so... You know, what people need to do is spread the word to their friends and relatives. We actually do cover some pretty good topics. Yeah. Did you have any computer question you wanted us to tackle? Yeah. Well, it took me a while to, know to realize you was back on the I earth. know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> spread the word and let people know, okay? All right. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Every Thursday night, 6 to 6.30, right here on the channel you happen to be viewing. Same bat time, same bat and, channel. And, you know, if you have a friend or neighbor who doesn't get this channel or maybe they don't have cable service or whatever, mm -hmm. as long as they have an Internet connection. This is streaming right now as long as well as all of uh, UCTV's fine programming at UC, U, U, Ustream.tv. We've got a call okay. here we need to try to grab before we head Hey, on. you're on the computer, guys. What can we do for you? I just needed to see if you could give me a price on what you all charge if I bring my computer in there and you wipe it all out, clean it out, because I got it from somebody else, and there's just... Okay, yeah, we do that all the time. We have what's called a wipe and reload, which is, mm -hmm. which is perfect for people getting one second hand, and we can set it back up like it was new with all the factory updates and everything, and that's a flat fee of $90 if we're not having to save any data first. And it includes a year's worth of antivirus and all the Windows updates you're supposed to have. And we blow out the dust bunnies and run complete diagnostics on all the parts to make sure everything's working like it should. Okay, doll, that's what I need to know. I'll come see you. All okay, right. thank you for calling. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay, clock says 630. That means we are out of time for this week's episode of The Computer Guys. Don't and worry. next week we'll come up with a different special, but we really would like to know who's watching. Yeah. And we'd like to have a little bit better response than we're getting. And so, you know, you need to tell your friends and relatives, you know, we really do offer some, you know, I've listened to Kim Commando, you know, she can talk about high-tech gadgets, but, you know, we actually offer hands-on experienced information that we we work on computers every time. She does a lot of reading and simply tells you what she knows about what's new in the business, but, you know, I don't think that she can hold a candle to what we offer the public. Yeah. And, you know, here's what's really cool is if you have an idea for something you want to see us feature here, we'd love to talk about it because we want to talk about what you guys want to see. So just go to, the easiest thing to do is just go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash affordable comp, and just post, and we'll talk about it. We've That's done it, it already. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a great week ahead, and uh, we hope to see you in one of our stores Next soon. Next week. Yep. Again, 6 p.m. <laughs>